is good? YouTube, Krishan checking back in with another video. 212 has wrapped up at the 2024 Mr. Olympia, and Keon Pearson is our champion. Keon is officially a two time 212 Olympia champion. Huge congratulations goes out to him. Keon came in at his all time best. In second place, we had the giant killer, Sean Clarita, and we will go into detail about what happened to Sean at this show a little bit later. In third place, Angel Calderon. Angel came back to the night show a lot better than he was at prejudging, and I think they gave him the nod over fourth place, Kara the Bajo. And in fifth place, we had Vitor Porto. A lot of us were expecting Christian Zagarella. Not really sure why this guy didn't get another comparison at the night show, but I'm not upset with Vitor taking fifth. Congratulations goes out to all of these guys, but of course, the biggest goes out to the two-time champ, the prodigy, Keon Pearson. And not only did Keon get his second Olympia win, he got a very dominant win over the mini Ronnie Coleman, Sean Clarita, the giant killer. From the moment that Keon came out, I think it was obvious that he was in the driver's seat for this show, and he has truly created a gap between him and everyone else in the division. This could be a little bit bold, but I'm pretty sure we're all on the same page. This could start the reign for Keon Pearson. It's possible that Keon can reign in this 212 division as long as he wants to, as long as he continues to come in 100%. And we know that Keon made great improvements, but I actually had to go and look at an image from 2023 to 2024. As you can see here, Keon has made significant improvements to the back, to the hamstrings, and I also believe he reached a different level of conditioning, which is something he pretty much struggled with his entire career up until meeting Patrick Tour. And huge credit to Patrick, he does a great job with his athletes. Now, I'm pretty sure the question is going to be, is Keon going to go up to open? As of right now, I'm going to say that Keon is going to win at least one more title in the 212 division. But congrats to this guy. Well deserved. Now in second place, we had the giant killer, Sean Clarita, the mini Ronnie Coleman. And unfortunately, that is not what we saw at this year's Olympia. This is not the mini Ronnie Coleman. This is not Sean Clarita. Now fortunately, Matt Jansen already put out a statement and he said what we pretty much already knew. Last year, the feedback from the judges was Sean came in too big, midsection was out of control. Matt said the judges came at them pretty hard. So to fix that, of course, Sean came in more conditioned. He dropped a couple of pounds, but he dropped too much weight. Matt did say Sean Clarita is a champion because he trusted the process. He followed it. It just did not work out for him. As I'm pretty sure we all know, Matt Jansen's coaching is really in question right now because of the Nick Walker situation. Quentin Araya earlier in the year, and now bringing Sean Clarita the Giant Killer in with honestly just not a good package. And when I say this wasn't a good package, I'm referring to Sean Clarita versus Sean Clarita. Of course, this is a great package. It's second best in the world in 212. But since Clarita won his first Olympia title, I'm pretty sure this is the worst physique we've seen from him. It'll be interesting to see what Clarita does next. Now in third place, we had Angel Calderon. I had Angel in third place after prejudging, but honestly, it was close between him and Kareth. But I think he came back a little bit better at the final, came in more conditioned. Angel is one of the biggest guys in the 212 lineup visually, and he also brings some of the craziest conditioning. The guys placing ahead of him simply have better shape. Now, Sean Clarita, I feel, did leave the door open for someone to come in and take their second place. I don't think Angel or Kareth were at the level to slide into there yet, but... I definitely believe the door was open. But what does Angel need to do to improve? He needs to work on the back and more specifically the back double bicep pose and find some way to bring out more detail from the back. We all know this guy's extremely conditioned, showcases a good amount of detail from the front, but we don't really get to see that from the back. But overall, congratulations to Angel, another top three finish at the O. Now in fourth place, we had Kareth Bajo. During the prejudging, a lot of people had Kareth in third place. I do not believe Kareth was at 100% at this show. I think the best Kareth we saw this year was at the ATL Pro. I also believe he was slightly off in New York when he took second place to Olay Krivy. But Kareth has a beautiful physique. He has the old man muscle, a lot of muscle maturity, also has great roundness. I think Kareth really lost a lot of ground in the back poses. Also, what does Kareth need to do to improve? Needs to work on the back and also work on bringing out some detail in their lower body. Arms could also use a little bit of work as well. But with all of that being said, Kareth not being 100% still having things to work on, this guy was still the fourth best in the world. But that's going to wrap up this year's coverage on the 212 division at the Olympia. 
Just to recap, Keon Pearson did walk away with his second Olympia title in the 212 division. The giant killer Sean Clarita comes in a little bit smaller, takes second place. Angel Calderon finishes in third, Kerry the Bajo in fourth, and Vitor Porto in fifth. As always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. I apologize if I sound a little bit tired. I haven't got much sleep. Was up all night watching and covering the Mr. Olympia. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. We have even more content coming out today. I'm Christian from Go Fitness and that is it. I'm out.